guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. I have my puppy Louie with me today. He's just very much feeling very cuddly today. And so today I am doing something I have wanted to do for a long time. I've seen many of these on Pinterest, on YouTube, and oh look at that. There you go. And so I decided to give it a try. Um, I'm going to make a a floating coffee cup and since it's a little you know cup I decided to keep the coffee uh, theme going and so I hope you guys enjoy it now this video is also in collaboration with um, a collab called using trash to create treasure and it is hosted by the lovely Casey from coffee with my sunshine and co-hosted by Heidi Sumbul DIY. I will link their channels down below. They're both amazing YouTubers and creators. I will also be attaching a playlist so you can just click on that and watch all the other creators do some amazing, amazing crafts. With that being said, and Louie just being as cute as he can get, let's get started on this video. we are going to need E6000 then we have our little cup and saucer that I got for 99 cents it was 199 and then it was 50% off of that and then a fork but make sure it's a bendable fork or some kind of a wire that's pliable but strong fork seems to be the best um, for this project now I'm going to start by bending my fork. Okay, I'm going to figure out how to bend this part, but you want to bend about at least like three quarters of an inch. Okay, for this we are going to use a combination of E6000 and I want my fork to be right here so the little handle is going to be off to the side. And so I'm going to start with a generous, I need a new thing of E6000, a generous dollop of E6000. Get it down there. Another generous dollop. Once that's on there nicely, and I know I have plenty, I'm going to, right there on the edges, I'm going to put some hot glue just so it's, it's going to hold the E6000 in place. If you want to, you could put more E6000 on it later, but for now, I'm just going to make sure that that's nice and sealed there. With that, and I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put something underneath, maybe, maybe like this candle. Oh, that's perfect, actually. Perfect. Okay, I am going to let it sit like this. I'm probably gonna give it a day. Then I'm going to do the plate. We're going to attach this part to the plate. Okay, you guys, this is nice and dry. It's been a good 12 hours since I did this part. Now, I found something in my house. It's actually one of these aroma things. Um, I wanted something to make sure that this will kind of lean against and be okay. And I'm just going to start by really squirting my E6000 on the plate. Now we want to make sure that our little project here is not going to tilt over. So I'm putting some rocks on here and we're going to actually paint these and cover these so don't worry about the aesthetic of it, what it looks like because as I said we are going to cover this area up. Before we continue, I got a few 
few of these floral wires. It was from a floral. So one of them I'm going to bend this way so I can shove it underneath um, one of the stones somehow. And then I wanted to kind of, I have a feeling I want it. At this part you could do whatever you want because it's still movable let me see here that's too high I'm going to cut it right here and I'm going to bend this so uh, what I'm making is the splash right now Make sure it's propped up nicely so the bottom does not slide while the E6000 is drying. For this part I'm going to be using this brown by Craftsmart and then I a little bit of black because I this is a little too light for what I need. Okay, so I will be painting the rocks, my little, um, let me show you. So I'm painting on the inside here everywhere where I'm going to have co coffee grounds. I want that painted just so your background is um, covered, especially right here in the back. You want to get that area. Okay, so now I'm just going to go back with a clean brush. I'm going to get rid of this one with a clean brush and just uh, clean up where I kind of have paint seeping over. I'm just going to clean that up real quick. Okay, you guys, grabbing my uh, hot glue sticks. I got my delicious coffee right here that my husband got and he this is organic coffee actually believe it or not but anyway and now what I'm going to do is everywhere where you see brown that's gonna be coffee and these things that are sticking out these little splashes that I made those are going to be last So I hot glued all of this and then if you look inside, what I basically did was just throw some hot glue gun in the back and just throw the coffee beans in and press them. You do want it to look like it's cascading down from thicker to thin so I'm trying to see if I'm not going to need any on the side here and I think this looks pretty good. It's going, you know, kind of from larger to smaller. To decorate my little cup I took three four inch pieces of this burlap ribbon and then I also grabbed the grow grain ribbon and did the same thing.
After making little ducktails on my grow grain ribbon, I'm just taking and then layering the burlap on my grow grain, doing that three times and fanning that out. And I'm just bringing it together with a little bit of a jute cord, then tying the jute cord right onto the cup handle. To tie everything in, I grabbed three more coffee beans and hot glued them to the center of my little ribbon bow. Oh, he's such a good puppy. Oh, he's such a good puppy. Aww. Well, you guys, how did you like my floating coffee cup? I hope you enjoyed this video. And thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you love videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. Louis, say bye. Louis feeling sleepy. We're going to cuddle for a little bit now. Mm -hmm.